Okay, let's check this antenna first. <coughs> let's see. Ham stick. Got a little tripod on it. <coughs> Look, looks, looks, <coughs> looks nice. I mean, it's a 10 meter. Uh, <coughs> for, yeah, okay. Get it close enough here. <coughs> okay, I'm going to plug this thing. Oh, okay, you got the, okay. He's got a end connector on the end of this. <coughs> the RF connector that's on the 269 is a, uh, it's an end connector, but it comes with an adapter that plugs into here and it becomes a regular UHF connector here. Comes with it. <coughs> oh, this post right here, I put the post on myself. It doesn't come with that post, I don't think. <coughs> okay, anyway, so you just <coughs> screw it in here. <coughs> okay, so I don't really know what frequency uh, this antenna is supposed to be used for. So I just start down at a low frequency. <coughs> Let's see, let me get it into the main mode. <coughs> Tell you what, let me just turn it off. <coughs> and I'm going to remember, I'm, if you don't uh, push this button after three minutes or so, it'll go into a sleep mode so it doesn't run your battery down. Hold the mode button down, push the on button, <coughs> let it come up. <coughs> okay, so it comes into the main mode. Uh, I'm at about 1.8 megahertz, real high SWR, resistance is real low, and the reactance is uh, way high. You look at the magnitude of the impedance, it's way high, the SWR is way high. So I'm just gonna just kind of sweep, turn the knob, sweep up in frequency and watch the SWR meter right here. Going back the other way. <clears throat> okay, go up a little bit more in frequency. Anything happening yet? Ah, look at the impedance meter. Something's going on. Whoops. Ah, well, that's not right, too high. Let's go on down. Ah, there's some other points there. Well, looks like this is not uh, coming down. Let's put this thing closer to the ground and see <coughs> what happens to it. Okay, let's see if we do any better here. <clears throat> well, there's, this thing doesn't work as good as it did up in the lab. <laughs> it was working good in his lab. Everything works good in the lab. <clears throat> it's probably, I mean, that's not a very good ground. It's probably a ground. Either that or, or your 269 didn't work. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, and you just lay that on and see if that does any good. But this is what happens when you try to build an antenna. You know, nothing really works the first time. <laughs> okay, yeah, see, so it just needs a little bit better ground. <laughs> That's all you gotta have, some of these rack things here, and you make yourself a 10 meter antenna. <laughs> but now, you know, you can, he, he can take this and, and raise it up a little bit. Look at what frequency it's, it's resonant at. Let's see, right there, about 29 megahertz, a little bit high, but all you have to do is to uh, raise this thing up a little bit or use a different ground, a longer ground. When you have something like this, you really need some more wires out there to make a ground. The more wires, uh, I mean, it'll make the SWR go down. I mean, the reason it looks uh, so good with such a low SWR is because there's lots of losses in an antenna. 
well, on, well, this one may not be bad. It's 28 megahertz, so it's, it's not that short. If it was much lower in frequency, the uh, radiation resistance would be real low, and you're, if you had a good ground, the SWR would be real high. And you have to have some kind of matching network to bring it up. I mean, if you have a mobile antenna that's short, trying to operate on 40 meters, and you get an SWR that's good, you know, close one to one, well, in that case, your antenna's not much good unless you matched it. Okay, if you don't match it, then the, the uh, feed point resistance should be real low. Okay. I, I can talk about that a little bit later. <clears throat> okay, the other thing I wanted to show you was um, <clears throat> you can increase the frequency until you get up to like a two to one SWR. Okay, and this frequency, let's see, let's see what it was. What's that, 20? 28.972. Okay, I can raise it up in frequency. SWR is 2 to 1. Um, that's about um, six, 700 kilohertz on one side, and I can go down in frequency until the SWR goes back up 28.295. That'll give you an idea of the bandwidth that you're able to operate on uh, before your transmitter starts to fold back and reduce your power. Okay, so <clears throat> you can um, <clears throat> um, check the center frequency, <clears throat> um, uh, the, uh, the frequency at the lowest SWR, you can get the two to one SWR points. 